Yeah, finally we're uh, back here at Bark River. I've always wanted to come back here. It was a good uh, 11, 12 years I hadn't raced here. We came here last year and didn't have a great weekend, so we're uh, super pumped to be back with this updated hot rod. So uh, just been working our tail off to get it fast and competitive and reliable and, and uh, not making driver errors. So um, trying to step up, we're finally here going to race in Bark River yet again. Try to go out there, not make mistakes early, get in a good groove and uh, go to work. We're gonna head out for practice today. We're gonna head out for qualifying today. Try to see where we stand, where we stack up against all these guys and trying some new stuff here even in practice. So it's, it's never over. These things are always developing. The season for us in 2022 has been horrendous, I mean, to say the least. It's been tough, you know, we've been getting our butt kicked and, and just haven't been delivering podiums. And we just want to try to keep that momentum, that mindset, that drivability, the same effort, all of that going forward here through Park River and head into Crandon. So a couple races left, some points to gain big time. So we literally are going to do everything we can. And, uh, you know, we're not points racing, we're, we're racing to gain points. So we're going to do everything we can to come out of this deal as champions. So. Uh, Stay tuned for sure. <laughs> uh, today we're pretty good. We started with a, a solid practice session. Um, we ran the truck as it was. We went in the hot pit, made a chassis adjustment, and then we went back out for the last lap and learned a little bit. Um, but we kind of put our standard system back in and uh, went back out for qualifying and had a good pace on the first lap. That was just kind of a warm up lap, and then I was like, all right, man, we need to start hammering down here. So. Started pushing the truck, over jumping it, and the suspension is so dialed now that it works so good. So, uh, flying down the back stretch into the, the, the big sweepers, man, the thing is just twisted on the chip. Like, it's so sick, running so good. So, uh, just feeling confident in the truck again. That's, that's massive. So, picked some good lines. Second lap was banger even better by half second. So, um, super good, qualified P1, uh, gained two points. Main run was quick in second, so uh, that left CJ with no points. So, two points closer. A little punch on the chin, trying to get this championship, you know, some sort of fight, you know. So uh, we're going to push. We're going to start second row tomorrow. Um, I pulled a four, so that puts CJ and someone else up front. Me and Mamre second row, and uh, yeah, let's go for some wins, man. we got to hustle. All right, what's up? This is day two, sitting here on Saturday, and uh, it's a little stormy and rainy. So, Reed just went and raced, got second, covered in mud, and they're trying to get the track up to par for us to race. Um, I think we're really just running out of daylight, so hopefully we have a good race for these trucks. So, trying to get the track up, we're, we're frantically changing tires right now with Toyo and uh, just getting helmets ready. Reed went through like 30 tear off, so uh, gearing up for rain. So, you never know. Hopefully it stays and uh, stays good, stays strong and we have a good course for today. So I want to race, let's get it done. Crossed up and made some contact. It's CJ Greaves, Kyle Leduc, and Jimmy Henderson. Boy, look at Leduc now, he's all over the back door. Of got up front pretty good with CJ and uh, got an inside up, up, up the gravel pit turn and kind of got him out in the soft stuff and uh, you know, just a race and move. And got into the lead and ran it good for a couple laps, started pulling away a little bit and uh, Got a flat, so I ripped it off the off the rim or something. It is what it is. I drove around, and was able to keep going fast on the flat, and went to the pit. My guys changed it quick enough to keep me on the uh, lead lap. So luckily, I caught it on the caution and, and uh, ran around and got back up to the pack. And oh my gosh, that was such a gnarly track to come from behind. So uh, it was pretty intense, but just one at a time, one at a time. I was able to get Andrew at the last lap there. So bummed they didn't have a shot to uh, to go battle CJ. So pretty bummed for the team, for the sponsors. Uh, that hurts us in points. So. We'll, uh, we'll live to fight another day. Second's cool, but first is always better. <laughs> Yeah, today it's uh, big Sunday, Sunday here at Bark River. So we're, uh, we're excited, we're ready to go back on the track, 
somewhat redeem ourselves. I mean, we had a good podium yesterday, but you know, getting that flat and uh, going to the back and having to do all that over again and over again is uh, getting pretty old. So, luckily today with uh, the inversion, I start front row. Um, we have a good truck. We're changing some stuff from yesterday to today, hopefully to, to go faster. So um, I'm excited to finally get to start up front. Hopefully I don't throw this one away and get a flat or put it on a K-rail and all that chaos I've uh, been self-induced this year. But we want to have a good race, man. We're just excited to uh, get out there, be smooth, be smart, and try to gain points on a championship. That's all we can do. And um, the only way to do that is by winning races. So we're ready. Uh, hopefully the track is better today. It was pretty wet this morning. And uh, yeah, I don't know, kind of a mixed emotions from, from yesterday to today. I mean, everybody loves to get second. People would kill to get second place in Pro 4. Um, but when you're uh, accustomed to winning and have the ability to win, that's all you want. So um, head down, chin up, we're ready to go racing here today. Right now we're 20 some odd points back. We are not out of it by any means, but we're running out of time. <laughs> that's for sure. So. It's gonna come down to what happens to today. Um, CJ, I need, I need him parked in the infield somewhere broken. And uh, you know, go to Crandon, somewhat same scenario. So it's definitely a long shot and he's gonna be smart and drive around, but uh, he doesn't like losing races either and I like winning them. So we're gonna, we're gonna battle. I think the, uh, the battle will always endure. We'll see, we'll see how it goes. It's gonna be interesting with other drivers and uh, you know, his dad's out the race with us and you know, we've all been good this year, so I hope it stays that way and we let this battle go to the end of the year. second lead over CJ Greaves. Just a couple corners to go. He'll have to navigate this tight left-hander as he heads toward the county road. Well, Shane from Fairhope, Alabama, making the long toe once again. Kyle Aduke gonna get the job done. Look at him, he's one-handed and he's fist pumping up in the air. Idle. Dude, but it would just grab and I'd slowly roll on it. Yeah! That was a race that we uh, we fought for for a long time with this truck, and we've made a lot of mystery parts on the back of this, and some of it we're guessing, some of it we're uh, assuming will work, but. It works, dude. We uh, we have a great truck, King Shocks. I gotta say, hats off to them. They've they built everything we've dreamed up, and uh, today we proved it. We fastest lap by about a second or so, and Toyos were hooked up, dude. The truck was so dialed. So I'm just stoked for all my sponsors. Everyone you see on this soup, on this race truck, check them out, look them up, and buy what buy what they sell. We believe in it, and so should you. For my homies. Uh, all in all, it's always better to end a weekend on a high note. <laughs> uh, yesterday was second place. 
it was good but not great so today we uh i would i would call that dominating fashion i had a great start the truck was hooked up the whole race had a killer restart on that halfway caution and uh just started checking out man i'm sure it was a zoo behind me but we were so hooked up we were in a i want to say how we were in a world of our own man it was it was good i was super calm behind the wheel Chad and the crew had the truck dialed everything was sick what a weekend man unbelievable